Hello everyone. Welcome back to our scenes. Today we will be solving learning sheets for chapter friction class 8 science. So in today's video we will be solving worksheets which come under learning outcome 1. Without further delay let's get started. So under learning outcome 1 we are going to be able to describe motion and classify the types of motion. So this is the first question and they have given you the pictures here and based on the pictures this is the question they have asked you in the above pictures which one is moving and non moving justify your answer so the answer is as given here in the above pictures the box in picture 2 is moving while well, the box in picture 1 is at rest this is because in picture 2 the man is pushing the box with required force making the box move while in picture 1 there is no force acting on the box moving on to activity 2 the question states can you identify what type of motions are these what are the differences between every type of these motions so as you can see here there are three pictures given towards my life uh, sorry left hand side and the answers are on my right hand side and if you observe here for the second one for the giant wheel i have mentioned here two types of motion this is with respect to you know uh, on what part are we referring to suppose if we are referring to the wheel itself then it is supposed to be a rotational motion but if you are preferring to the passengers riding the uh, giant wheel then it's going to be circular motion whereas the last one is a pendulum and hence it is oscillatory motion the first one is just a car moving in one dimensional direction and hence it is linear motion since we have already stated the types of motion it's time to mention their differences so we have stated four types of motion this two for the second one with respect to that we have i have mentioned here four differences or you know differences between the four types of motion so for the linear it's a one dimensional motion example rotational motion example definition for circular motion example and finally the oscillatory motion and its example so here our learning sheet 1 comes to an end in our next video we will be discussing learning sheet 2 for the same chapter till then if you find my video helpful then do give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you